Welcome back. Let's learn some vocabulary items today the fun way. Today we're going to talk about something called homonyms and we'll talk more about it. Hi, I'm Ajit from CapShine. CapShine is a revolutionary learn it together English fluency program. With CapShine, learning English is easy, quick, fun, affordable, and effective. And we promise a whole new you in six months or less. So, what are these homonyms? What do they do? Well, Homonyms are essentially words with the same spellings and same pronunciations. So they sort of are the same words, but they have different meanings. So they're actually different words. What are these? What are some examples? Let's look at that in context in this video. So the first word is issue. You might have heard of, you know, the word issue in context like he has an issue with me. I don't know why. Meaning that someone has a problem. An issue is a problem or a situation that is not ideal. An issue. Issue could also be an action which means to give something or provide something. For example, the IT department issued a new laptop to me last week, right? Or the government might issue a decree about something. To issue something is to provide or uh, do something as an official order or as a process to issue. Let's look at another one. Spring. You've heard of spring as in the spring, but there are also other meanings to this word. You have spring, the season, like fall, winter, and summer. There is also spring when all the foliage comes back. When the vegetation grows back, it's spring, right after autumn and winter. You also have spring as in as a verb, to spring a surprise. Uh, he sprang a question, right? To do something in a surprising way without having expected it is to spring something. This is a verb, to spring a surprise, to spring a question is to spring as well. So that's a noun and that's a verb. Let's look at the next one, which is rose. You obviously know about rose, the flower, but rose could also be the past tense of rice. The value of the company rose ten folds because of the new product right or his confidence rose as a result of his um, english fluency improvement let's say right so rose the noun and also rose the verb both same pronunciation and um, same spellings but different meanings altogether we also have stock so a flower has a stock and that's called a stock stock can also talk about the action which is to stalk someone to follow them around and find out what they're up to is to stalk me and my friends sometimes stalk my older friends on social media to find out what they're up to these days, to stalk. And I'm sure all of us have done this at some point or the other. I want to quickly introduce you to CapShine's revolutionary learning model. With CapShine, you get 30 days free. And with this, you get access to speaking opportunities. You get to learn and practice as a group. You get access to personal coaches who give you feedback and recommendation on how you can improve live lessons and daily micro lessons that can help you challenge, build and improve your English over time. Let's get back to our discussion, shall we? The next word is clip. These are both nouns. On this side is a video clip. A small video is, is called a clip. On the other hand, you also have clips, your, your, you know, your paper clips. Um, these are clips as well. Again, same word, different meanings. Another word is scale. Look at the scale of the agricultural land or the field there, right? A large, vast expanse is called scale. Or to increase in vastness, for example, many companies want to scale their customer base. Or look at the scale of the field in that picture, right? On the other hand, scale could also mean cover a distance by jumping. Look at this long jumper who scaled the entirety of maybe half a football ground in one jump. That seems absurd. People can't do that. But if someone can jump across a vast uh, space, then they have scaled that. Or someone scaled a fence in one jump. Scale, to jump across a distance. The next word is sink. We know that ships can sink like that as a verb. You could also have the sink in your kitchen and you know in your um, in your bathrooms, right? Um, if you remember in one of our previous videos, we spoke about that thing and it's called a faucet. So there's a faucet attached to the sink there. The next one is trip. While someone can go on a trip for vacation, you could also trip and fall and have a bad day because of that. To trip 
both means to fall down. A trip means a vacation or a journey somewhere. And of course, ruler. On, the le on this side, you have a scale, right? Uh, something you use to measure. On that side, you have someone who rules. Same word in the sense that same uh, pronunciation and spellings, it completely different meanings altogether. I hope you found this video entertaining and you learned something new. If you want to watch more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. And of course, do not forget to check out the 30 day free trial to get your uh, subscription with Capshine. Thanks for watching.